Hey everybody, how you guys doing on today? Happy Monday to you all. I pray you guys are having a very, very good Monday on today, guys. It's about 10, 15, 10, 30 ish. If you hear any noise in the background, that's just the guys out back doing the uh, uh, collecting the recyclables on this Monday morning. But guys, I pray you guys are having a blessed day on today because my day right now so far hasn't been all that great, guys. I've been up since 530 this morning to get out to the car dealership to get my back brakes put on my car. I get up 530 in the morning so I can be out the door by 630 so I can get to the place at 7 o'clock. The place don't open to 8 o'clock and they don't take anybody's cars until 830. So, guys, I got out there or I got up rather or get up rather. But I have to be there early in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, so I can finally get my car to get whatever it needs done at 8.30, okay? We get out there this morning, wait about a half an hour. They come back and tell me, oh, we're so sorry. We got a little bit of bad news to tell you. I'm like, what? They ordered the wrong pieces, the wrong brakes for your car, and it won't be till after 12 o'clock when they come. Okay. All right. That's my day so far. I talked to the manager. I said, look, let me tell you something. I've been up since 5.30 this morning to get out here to this appointment. And how do you guys order the wrong pieces? So he told me the whole scenario about what happened. My car, um, the VIN number and all these things changing. And uh, it wasn't really their fault. It was the domain, it was the place where they ordered it from because the numbers are different and all that. Okay. So, okay. All right. But guess what? Can you, you need to give me a discount. Y'all, somebody need to give me a break. Take some of this money off. First of all, you're, working, you're messing up with my work day right now, okay? Because I, I got to go back home and, and do what I need to do for my job. I think I'm also short, guys. It's like 10.30ish. I'm just getting home. <laughs> but guess what? Uh, I stopped at Dollar Tree around the corner because I said, you know what? Okay. I'm going to go and look for a few things for... Um, I'm doing the, the Christmas... Um, uh, the, uh, the Christmas um, popcorn uh, bucket set up. Found a few of my gifts doing already. So I'm doing a, a, a kiss night. I'm doing a, a, a game night, a Christmas. Well, I'm just gonna, it's going to be, the feature of it is going to be a game night uh, for the kids. Okay, it's going to be some kind of game night. And I said, let me go around this college because they always have a lot of games in this store. Went over there and they don't have anything anymore. They used to carry this little small games and things like that. Um, I didn't find any of those. I'm going to make a long story short. I'm just going to be coming back here. I said, let me just go blow off a little steam right now. Let me go to Dollar Tree real fast. It's right around the corner. i got to switch my hours around on my day right now for my job. And um, let me just see if I can just begin to find some items for um, this um, kids game night uh, Christmas theme gift popcorn gift bucket. Okay. All right. All right, we got all that established, I think. All right, so I get over there, guys, nothing big. I just found some items I just wanted to share with you guys and make a long story short. My day has been topsy-turvy so far, but it's going to be all right. Let me tell you something. Let me show you this first thing right here. Think positive. Be positive. Guys, I was just talking about uh, uh, patience and virtue. Uh, 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 uh. Patience is a virtue yesterday. I'm going to tell you, I needed to use that on my side. I had to be mindful of that today. That was a setup for today. I had to think about that. I said, I'm just talking about patience as a virtue because my patience was about to run short because this dealership is a very, very well-known car dealership where I got my car from. It's, 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 top, it's, it's top notch, okay? And for the last few years, I don't know what, what in the world has been going on. It's just like the wrong this, the wrong that, you come back for this, you got to come back for that. Be positive. Be positive. Okay. I don't know if this is backwards in the camera. I think this is backwards. But these are cute. I saw these here, guys. I picked up a couple of these. These are um, journals. Gratitude journals. Oh, they really cute. They got here today. I am grateful for, and then you just fill it in, something to look forward to. I can serve others by a lesson I learned today. Let me start writing in this book today. I'm keeping this one for myself because you know what? Sometimes, 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 you know, so, you know what I was thinking in the car? Because a lot of times, um, you know, when things be, um, uh, 
going in the wrong direction and things may be, um, hold on guys. Because sometimes we never know why we delayed. We, ne we never know why things, when things happen and we just be, you know, I wasn't really, really mad, but I said, look, I, I talked to the people, you know, with, look, they saw I was, I saw I was bothered, but I just kept it together. I said, look, I need to talk to your manager. I need to, somebody need to give me a discount. Uh, my time, my job and all this stuff is, is you know, it has to be taken into consideration today. All right. I need, I need some, um, I need a break today. Okay. Somebody need to give me a break this way. <laughs> so the manager said, okay, we'll, we'll make sure they send you the breaks for free from the dealership. Okay. The breaks don't cost that much. I'll, I'll work it out when I get back to the dealership, you know, about seeing about lowering my bill, a little bit, uh, my bill a little bit, but everything was smooth. It's so smooth, even though I was irritated, you know, about this, but we never know. We never know when something is, is actually, you know, what is being delayed for? Is is this something that could be up ahead of us that, um, you know, the Lord may be keeping us from? Is this some sort of danger? Is this somebody we need to meet along the way? And I did meet somebody today. I met somebody in the Dollar Tree um, and she had an amazing coat on. And on the back, she painted, if, um, if anybody's familiar with Papa and olive oil, her whole jacket, she painted the back of her jacket with olive oil and it had some sort of saying on the top, but it was really, really cute. It was because it's unusual and it's, it was just really, really nice. Her whole back of her trench coat, she, I asked her, where did you get that coat from? She said, oh, she said, I, I did this myself. She said, I, I'm sorry, let me close this up for a minute. I painted that myself. And I said, are you serious? You did that yourself? And she said, yeah. I said, you, do you have a business card? Because maybe I would like to give somebody. And she said, no, no. She said, no, I just decided to do this myself. And she said, I do a lot of painting. So I, I took a picture of her coat. I'm going to put it on my Facebook page. And um, and I got her name and her number. And I, um, I'm going to send her um, a link to my, or tell her what my Facebook page is. So she can come over and see if anybody is um, uh, commenting on her coat. I said you need to you need to start a business on that. I said you, you need to get that going and make sure it gets trademark and, and copyrighted and all that stuff you need to do because your code is really really nice. And so I bumped into her. So you never know. I don't know. Maybe there was something. Maybe there was a divine, divine connection in that. But the most important thing is to think positive. You know, to be positive, and we never know why we are delayed we never know why we are getting held up you know we never know why so you just always got to keep keep uh think positive and be positive is what i'm trying to say and just be mindful about why we may be uh, uh you know you just never know you just never know what, what the reason is um so let me just cut that short on here and um the reason why I was bringing that up is because I saw this when I went in the store and how I was thinking about patience as a virtue yesterday. So anyway, I was mindful of this. You know, God might be still trying to work some things out of my life. We're working right on out. Think positive. And patience is a virtue. So I saw these amazing journal books at um, Dollar Tree, guys. And this is a nice, these are nice inserts. It's kind of thin, it's a little on the thin side, but it's still cute. Think positive. Be um, positive. And gratitude journal. This is what this is, and it has, um, you know, your little calendars on here. I guess you can put something in there, and you got your notes. And each day, you just got something. It's the same scenario. And then I also found these right along with it. Um, Live with love, grace, and gratitude. This one, it's the same thing. It's the same setup. You know, with the, um, you know, with the uh, daily. Uh, things here. So I'm actually going to use one of these for myself. I'm going to work on one of these for myself on tonight. And not that I was popping off or anything, but you know, I'm just like, look, if one more thing happened, <laughs> if one more thing happened with this car dealership. Y'all been giving me a, a way to go lately. So these are pretty cute guys. Now what else I found was these. Yes, I think they used to have these out, guys. These are out. And they're amazing for if you're doing food baskets, guys, if you're doing any type of food baskets, these are amazing. These are the Thin Mints, okay? And I just picked up three boxes. Um, they had a whole stockpile out there, everything, the candies and all the stuff is coming in. So these are the Thin Mints, guys, and these are really nice if you're doing food baskets, okay? 
So I'm going to be using these for my, my baskets coming down the pipe for um, some food baskets. And also, these are the Grow Folks. I call these the Grow Folks candy. I love these. These are popular. They make the um, the, uh, the chocolate and the mint, the green mint. These are Andre's, but these are the cherry Jubilee mints. When I tell you these things are good, I think I might need one right now. These things are really, really good. They taste just like cherry. And I only see these in Dollar Tree. I never see them out in the market anywhere. So I'm going to use this, use these in my um, my Christmas uh, movie night basket with the um, black, um, the couple's one with the, with the two glasses. If you guys saw the video from that, the two glasses and the black um, uh, uh, throw blanket and some popcorn and the, and the uh, you know, you, you can go back and see the video that I have on that, but I'm going to insert these inside the glasses. So these are very, very nice. I love these and they taste really, really nice. And they are grown for candy. So I got these. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. My, I, let me hurry up and get to my daughter because she had breakfast really, really early this morning. So she's looking for some snack right now. I'm going to get a So I'm going to give her a snack. Um, I got these um, actually for my um, my kids night, the kids night movie theme basket. You know, again using the Christmas night uh, movie buckets that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm gonna be inserting these some kind of way. I love these chocolates. I love these particular ones. These are the um, cookies and cream. And they taste really really good, guys. I use these um, also for my candy bouquets. You know, I. And, I use these as well. So I got these for that particular basket, guys, along with these peeps, the candy cane peeps. Okay, these are from Tower Tree. All of these are from Dollar Tree. And these were $3.75, guys. I think they're probably about the same as they were in the, in the regular store. I don't know. But I got these because it's red, red um, theme. Goes along with the basket. And we got the peeps. And I got these candies here. And I also brought these can of Doritos, these mini Doritos. I've never seen these before, but I got it because the can was red. And the kids, you know, they'll eat these up, you know. So it's a movie fun night, movie game fun night basket that I'm making for the kids with these. And then also I got, I said, now I wanted games. And then I said, well, I started looking at the books. I said, oh, you know what, let me use these. You know, yeah, these are, um, uh, let me put this up a little bit. Dollar Tree has some amazing books. That's all I'm going to say. They really have some nice books. And their Christmas theme books are coming out. So I got this one. This is a um, coloring book. You know. And we got the Grinch here. We got the coloring book. All right. Then we got something for the boys. You know, they have little boys over there. We got the, this book here. Oh, Wait a minute now, because I have more than this. Where are my, uh, hold on a minute, hold on. Okay, yeah, they fell out my bag. I have the frozen ones, the frozen coloring books. This always reminds me of the of Christmas time. I think this is when it came out originally. So we've got the frozen, and then how can you not have Dr. Seuss, you know, the coloring books. So these will be going into that um, th these will be going into that uh, kids, uh, what I say, game night, uh, game night book. I want to also get a game. So I'm going to get an actual game, maybe Monopoly or something to also insert into the, um, into there. And I also bought um, the pack of crayons. So it's 36 colors in here. And this is going to be the start of that particular basket, these particular items here. So these will be going into that particular basket along with a game. And then maybe a couple other things um, that I have to see how I can actually be able to fit them in there. So it's going to be a pretty big basket, guys. This is going to be a big basket. And so I just wanted to share these with you all, guys. And I'm going to get going right now because i got to go back out to the car dealership. They're going to call me at 1 o'clock. And they tell me probably about 2 o'clock is when they'll probably be able to start back on my car. Another three to four hours maybe working. And then I'm going to try to stay there. You know, I'm used to saying two to three, four hours every time. I don't care. what I, They can just 
go check um, a screw on my car and I'll be there for three hours. This, this just takes so long. And I think, I don't know if it's because they get paid by the hour. I don't know what it is, but it takes forever. I like the work that they do there. That's why, that's why I put up with them. I put up with them. The guy that sold me the car, I, I had my car for 14 years. He's now retired. I said, where is he? Where's my friend? He ain't there no more. I need to go in and talk to him right now. But let me get off this camera so I can go to my um, daughter um, a snack right now, guys. I just wanted to show you these things real fast. And um, I pray that you will have an amazing day, guys. It's going to be all right on my end. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be all right. Just need to boil from the steam right now. But anyway, until the next video, guys. You guys, be blessed. Have an amazing day.